Okay, follow me. Don't turn your head too much. Go slowly. So as you can see, the hatch on the Soyuz open. On the right side. It already been open for about a minute, so the hatch officially opened at 5.15 a.m. Central Time, 6.15 a.m. Eastern. While the station was flying over the Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Peru, about 251 statute miles over the ocean. In a noble, old-fashioned way. Okay, let's move slowly. Follow me. And first through Sergei Volkov, his third time on board the International Space Station now. And they're floating into view the Kazakh cosmonaut Aydin Ambatov making his first flight into space. And just ahead of him was Andreas Mogensen. So all three crew members now on board the International Space Station. Again, that hatch opening at 5.15 a.m. Central Time, 6.15 a.m. Eastern, while the station was flying over the Pacific Ocean just to the west of Peru. Now they'll all try to squeeze in here in the service module. Again, nine crew members now on board the International Space Station for the first time since 2013. It's going to be a packed house over the next week. The three newest crew members in the middle there in their flight suits. Sergei Volkov, the Russian cosmonaut, right there in the center and immediately behind him. Uh, Dean Ambatov over on the left and Andreas Mogensen to his right. MCC Moscow on Space to Ground 1. Go ahead, we we'll read you loud and clear, and we we'll see you uh, clearly. We we'll read you loud and clear as well. We are ready, MCC Moscow and Space to Ground 1. How do you read us? We read you loud and clear. And we see you well. Sergey, as you can see, we're all ready. Sergey, are we waiting for someone to join us? We see you now. Uh, nice 
Uh, crowd assembled. Uh, we're glad to see you on board. Hello. We just, yes, we're glad to hear you. Yes, I was. I saw. Yeah, your appearance quite recently. Okay, say a, a few words to us, and then I'm going to um, transfer the comm to the balcony. Well, we're doing well. Everybody's feeling well. We're ready to for work. So I think we can talk to the balcony right away, and then we're going to proceed with our nominal ops. Okay, balcony, do you hear us? Isa, Kazakhstan. Uh, I assess. Good afternoon, this is the balcony speaking. How do you read us? We read you loud and clear. How us? We read you loud and clear, just great. Uh, guys, this is Matushin Maxim Mikhailovich. Maxim Mikhailovich, and greetings from us. Hi. We would like to congratulate you on the successful flight. Thank you. We are glad to see your faces. In particular, such a large international crew on board. That's true. I don't think we didn't have such a, a nice representation of countries uh, all at once on board previously. We have representatives from Kazakhstan, from the European Space Agency. And I'm going to give the microphone to And I'm going to give the microphone to the Kazakhstan representative. I am glad to have the opportunity to congratulate you on the docking. The entire nation of Kazakhstan is congratulating you and is wishing success to you. We are very proud of you. Uh, we're glad to see you in orbit. We would like to wish you every success and wish you a great health. Uh, we're hoping everything will proceed smoothly. Thank you very much. Space Agency, Andreas, it is great to see you in good health from the space station together with your uh, ISS comrades, astronauts and cosmonauts. Good to see you. The entire ESA family is behind you and we are proud to have you as representative for Europe on the space station. But I have sitting next to me some people who really want to talk to you. Hi, uh, din oplevelse, da du satte den her raketten, uh, da den startede, tog afsted, og var første gang, du var væk. Vi skal lige beskrive det, din egen ord, ganske kort, hvordan det var. Jamen, det var lidt, lidt besøgelig følelse, da raketten startede, fordi selvom vi har vinduer, så kan vi ikke se ud, fordi det er toppen af raketten, når vi starter, uh, der er sådan et, uh, et skjold på. 
Så vi hørte bare lyden og blev pakket tilbage i vores sæder, og så var det først efter 3 minutter, at uh, vi pludselig kunne se ud af vinduet og kunne se, at vi var på et sted op. Så det var en lidt underlig følelse at være sådan en i sådan en mørk rum og blive skudt af sted og ikke selv at kunne se raketten komme op. Hej skat. Ja, jeg ved godt, at jeg skal fortsætte med det samme. Hej. Men jeg kunne så godt tænke mig at vide, hvordan dine ben har det efter, efter at have siddet sammenkoblet så længe. Og så vil jeg lige sige til dig, at jeg har en meget stor nyhed. Um, og nu er jeg spændt på, om du gætter, hvad det er. Men Irene, hun er i labor. Hun er på hospitalet og ved at føde lige nu. Okay. <laughs> Jamen, det er fantastisk. Um, jamen, jeg har det fint. Det er dejligt at kunne strække benene her, øhm, og fantastisk at være ombord på rumstationen. Er det ikke fantastisk med Irene på samme tid som dig? Jo, det, det er det. Det er det nu. Glæder jeg mig til at høre, hvad det sker. Jeg er meget spændt på, om hun bliver kaldt for Iris. Nej, det tror jeg da ikke. Det ved man aldrig, Nå, men jeg ved ikke, hvor længe jeg må tale med dig. Men det er skønt at se dig, og jeg har været så spændt på det, og jeg har haft klamme hen og været nervøs, men nu har jeg det godt. Så nu venter vi bare på, at alt går vendt deroppe. Jeg glæder mig til at snakke med dig i morgen. Nu får du lige Niels igen. Ja, kan du ikke lige uh, give uh, thumbs up til uh, hele Danmark, som uh, står bag dig? Og, uh, Ja, så er der andet der. Jo, stort øh, fedt. Også, altså, jeg har fået så mange... Uh, kom... Stort hej til... Ja, jeg vil bare lige også sige hej til Cecilia, og det, 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 det. også til Emily, som er i Danmark, tror jeg, og ser det derhjemmefra. Ja, sådan. Uh, jeg ved, at de ser det live nu, så den, uh, den, den hilsen får de uh, helt sikkert, men... Uh, Super at snakke med dig, Andreas. Fedt at se dig, og ja, der er jo alle i Danmark, der med og følger dig og giver dig en kæmpe opbakning. Så super, have det rigtig godt i rummet, og ja, svæv lidt rundt og bare nyde det. Hej, hej. Hej, hej. Hej, hej. I want to just say um, a few words in Kazakh, but I'm going to speak Russian. It is a very important uh, mission um, you've been tasked uh, with by your country and the nation, and I hope you will be able to complete it. Um, in full, and there is a message from head of state, Mr. Nazarbayev. You know, it's a very uh, big anniversary, 750th anniversary of the uh, Kazakhstan uh, Han state. And there will be a uh, Official congratulations to your crew uh, from uh, the government of Kazakhstan on this anniversary. And we would like to wish you, your uh, family, and uh, your loved ones uh, health and all the very best. I have any wishes? I then. I can say that I hear a very well trained in many respects. You have excellent education. So I trust you to find good words to congratulate uh, the nation and people of Kazakhstan with this success. Thank you. I can assure you that I will complete the tasks that are set for me. I am feeling well. The flight proceeded well. I would like to pass along my greetings to the people of Kazakhstan. Hey, Andy, it's 
Matt's here. Um, I just want to say on behalf of all your friends who've been here and around the world that we're really proud of you. We really enjoyed watching you go up there. I uh, hope you had a good trip so far. But it would be uh, it would be great to hear a little bit about how uh, weightlessness feels as well for the first time for a long time. Well, it's a really interesting feeling. As soon as the uh, the rocket stopped and uh, we became weightless, it felt like we did a backflip. And for the first day or so, it felt like I was hanging from my legs with my head downwards. Um, but after about a day, it, I kind of had, well, I don't know, I, I kind of lost that feeling, and now I feel pretty good about being weightless. But it, it took a while just to, to adapt to it. How was the, uh, so you guys had two days on the Soyuz. How did you guys spend it? Um, sleeping, eating, and then, of course, uh, controlling Soyuz wherever we had to do maneuvers. Dear, dear friends, this is Roscosmos, uh, Igor Brinkov from the communications department at Roscosmos. I am glad to see you smiling. I uh, been well. Thank you very much, Sergey. Uh, thanks to you, uh, we have so many astronauts and cosmonauts on board. That's just great. Thank you. We're glad to see everyone. Uh, to see everyone doing well. We're glad to see the one-year mission continuing and. We're watching all the experiments being performed on board. We're glad to see that the work is continuing and your participation in the ISS flight is another confirmation that on uh, in space things are proceeding much better than on the ground. If we were cooperating uh, on the ground on Earth as well as you do on the station, that would be just wonderful. I think I think you're giving us, um, setting an example how we should work, cooperate on Earth. We will continue trying to show a good example of uh, working well together. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to have a big video event on the 8th, and uh, we will be uh, be providing all the answers and explanations for everything that we have already accomplished on board and we're still accomplishing and will do in the future. Thank you very much. We're very proud of you. Thank you very much and I uh, will talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye. So does that complete our event for today? Yes, thank you very much.